Hi everyone, my name is AJ Bungabung and I am the Junior Secretary for Sociedad Honoria Hispanica. And welcome to our Dia de los Muertos video. So you may be wondering, what is Dia de los Muertos? Well, Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos is a very old Mexican tradition in which people take the time to remember their loved ones. It is celebrated on November 1st and 2nd. Because it is a very colorful and joyful tradition, it is um, being celebrated more often um, by people around the world. Depending on your region, you might celebrate the day differently. For example, some may go to cemeteries. There, they could decorate and prepare a feast at the gravesite. Others may go to festivals, while others may make altars at home. Hey guys, it's Luis Sanchez here and I'm the president for La Sociedad Honoria Hispanica. It is believed that the spirits of heaven are open on November 1st and all the angelitos are allowed to come and reunite with their families for 24 hours. On November 2nd, the spirits of the adults will come to visit. Hola, mi nombre es Martín Orozco. I am the SHH Social Media Chair. And para mí, Día de los Muertos es una celebración muy importante para mi cultura mexicana. Es un día que podemos reunir los vivos con los muertos. Para mí, Día de los Muertos es honorar, honorar nuestra familia que perdimos y celebrar su vida con comida, música y historias de su vida. Significa ser una pequeña ofrenda con mi, de mi abuela con una foto y una vela de la Virgen de Guadalupe. Hello, 
everyone, my name is Estrellita Mondragón and I'm the Vice President of the Spanish Honor Society. To me, Dia de los Muertos means to celebrate familia que ya falleció, to reflect and remember the lives and accomplishments of those who passed away. Mi familia tiene una ofrenda de mi bisabuela y fotos de ella. También le encantaba las plantas y por eso tenemos muchos cerca de su ofrenda. En la noche pasamos tiempo como familia. Hola, my name is Nyan and I'm the attendance and events keeper for the Spanish Honor Society. So in the days leading up to the holiday, each family creates a beautiful altar sometimes referred as to an ofrenda. Um, the ofrendas are carefully decorated and covered in gifts. Um, it has at least three levels. It is lovingly created and decorated by, um, by other family members and with pictures with the ones that they are be being honored. So they usually included uh, food, water, uh, especially flowers with candles, and sometimes their favorite food. Um, and, some, and some other items may also be included to honor their memory. Well, hello everyone. My name is Milton Coronado, um, and I'm out here painting one of three murals for the Dia de los Muertos ofrenda murals that will be uh, put up in Berwyn. I'm super excited for this and I'm honored to be the artist uh, to do this because I grew up in Berwyn. Uh, I graduated eighth grade, eighth grade and high school in Berwyn. So it's also very personal for me to contribute my talents, my gifts and my style to, to the community. So I'm honored in brainstorming as to what to paint in these three different panels that are four by eight. Um, I had to think back with, uh, well, about the meaning of Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, and what it represents, um, what it uh, embodies, who celebrates it. So you have to think back culturally. Yeah, I had to think about the colors, uh, the symbols that are involved, and so Piecing it all out together on paper, I then transitioned into doing it on, uh, into a drawing. And so I, I incorporated a sugar skull, or also known as calaca in Spanish, which is that very decorative, colorful skull uh, that represents um, not something just horrific or scary, uh, but celebrates life. I also incorporated the marigolds, which is a particular flower that is used to decorate the tomb area of the deceased. And that particular flower is chosen because of the time of the year that is still blooming, which is into the fall, and because of the colors, the yellows, the reds, the oranges, uh, which represents life. And it's interesting because every color um, is symbolic to the Day of the Dead. So the yellow has a meaning, the green has a meaning, the purple has a meaning, the blue, etc. And so I had to keep those uh, colors and that idea in mind when it came to uh, creating these, these uh, murals. And then the third one, which is the monarch butterfly. Uh, the oranges, the blacks, the whites, the reds, the yellow tints that are within the butterfly which also represents life. And it's interesting because these butterflies travel from north to the south and vice versa uh, throughout the year. It represents life. Um, the colors in it also represents uh, life 
and happiness and joy. And when it comes to Dia de los Muertos, we do want to celebrate that. Rather than celebrating uh, death and being in sorrow for the individual that whom in our life who we miss, we celebrate life, we celebrate their memory, um, what they did, how they affected us, how they affected our family, how they affected our circle and our community. And that's what uh, gives me joy now to bring um, through these murals to the community of Berwyn because I don't just want to celebrate um, people, but I also want to celebrate life, celebrate unity, celebrate the community and the future of that community. And this tells us so much of it, that it's changing and it's growing and it's impacting others and it's also unifying um, others. And so because of all that and its meanings, I'm honored to, to do this and paint the images that I will create. And I hope the community loves them. I'm excited to see their response to it, their reaction to it, and then combine it with uh, photos of their loved ones who obviously they miss and they, they, want, they want to memorialize. And so we incorporate that into the mural. And so this is something different for me. I've never incorporated pictures into a mural, but I'm excited for how it's going to be and how uh, it's going to touch the lives of the community. So look forward to that. Hi, my name is Sofia. I'm the Senior Secretary of SHH and today we're going to be making um, Mexican paper flowers. And so what you need is some tissue paper and they don't have to be this size. It can be smaller or larger, but this is the size that we're going to use. And you need either a zip tie or a um, pipe cleaner to make the stem. So what you do is you stack them on top of each other and I've layered them so they're all different colors. And then what you do is you start at the end and you fold in like this and then you fold the opposite direction, like that. And you just wanna keep going like this, um, all the way down, and try to make it as straight as you can. Let's see. And they don't have to be perfect. Um, you're not gonna really, really be able to tell if it's crooked, but you just wanna try to make them look as nice as you can. And then after each fold, you wanna crease it. So it makes a line. And I used six pieces of paper, of tissue paper for this. Um, you don't have to use that amount, but this is just so it can get um, thick. Okay, so once you get to the end, once you, um, you can't keep folding anymore, then you uh, fold it down and then you can take a pair of scissors and you can cut the edges and make them round. So, so it's not any like harsh lines. So then what you do is you take the middle and you kind of like, you can either uh, fold it like this or you can pinch it like this like this, and then you can take your pipe cleaner, or your zip tie or whatever, and you wrap it around so that uh, they stay together in the middle. And then once it's like this, you can start bringing it forward to create like that shower, that flower shape, and like this. So it's like this. And then you can start tearing the, uh, or not tearing, but pulling the pieces of paper apart from each other. So they can make like the layers of it. And try for your first few layers to get like as much to the middle as you can so you can't see the pipe cleaner um, or like the base of it. But yeah, here you go. It looks like this. You can make it, like fix it a little bit depending on how like big you want it or like how full it is. But yeah, it looks like a flower. 
And you can even put some tissue paper in the middle, like you can ball it up and it can be like the middle of a flower. And yeah, that's it. A little stem. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gianna Torres. Just remember that Dia de los Muertos is not a scary event, rather a happy celebration full of color. It is a culture, not a costume. El Día de los Muertos es una celebración alegre y llena de colores. Es una época para recordar a familiares y amigos que ya no están con nosotros. Siempre los recordamos. Pero bien contento 